Hey, welcome back to my studio. Today, I don't know why, I want us to talk about being a homebody. Last year, I realized that I love being a homebody. There was so much suffering happening last year to other people. This video can come across as like privilege. I am aware, but I feel like I can only talk about my life. If that subject is not something that is appealing to you, I think I already don't have to even tell you, you don't have to watch this video. And also I have to say, if I come across as like a little energy or weird at any time in this video is because I've basically been delirious for the past few days. Basically, <laughs> long story short basically i was like dehydrated without realizing that i was dehydrated because it's been so hot in la and that's also the reason i might have bad lighting in this video because i'm not using my lighting i'm not closing my windows anyway and this is something that like people that know me every once in a while they'll ask me like what do you do when you're like by yourself <laughs> and they don't understand how you could possibly spend time like just making stuff like i just always been that kid that was like home making like arts and crafts and i also like always gravitated towards games where you like get to build and be creative like i love playing with legos i would play with my barbies play with like trying to make their clothes try to make myself clothes which didn't work <laughs> even now that i'm older i still feel like that i still love to be home and like work on youtube work on my paintings making my website better, making my editing better and even the video games that I play to like, you know, just kind of take my mind away from work are like very creative, like building stuff like Stardew Valley, which I'm obsessed with right now Minecraft, Animal Crossing I just like making stuff and I need a lot of time alone to recharge Like many of you, I'm sure I was shocked last year to contrast my life without like anything other than work and like i said i'm privileged enough that i got to work from home and i just like there were so many times in where i sat and thought like okay if today is a thursday i would have been running around all over the place trying to make like different events different things different organizations and basically just realizing how crazy of the output that i was demanding of myself does by the fact that i understand and feel like i am an introvert and i get a lot of my recovery from being alone and being home and just in case some of you guys are international viewers because i feel like sometimes you guys reply in spanish which is awesome homebody it just means like you like to be at home most of your time not necessarily an introvert but i feel like they go together i feel like i spent a lot of time last year thinking about how much rest we need is like how much rest i need and how little time i give to myself to rest yes you sleep the eight hours at night i feel like i need like nine or ten sometimes but like you also need rest when you're awake and i feel like especially i a lot of the time want to avoid resting or like it makes me feel anxious if i'm not doing anything if i'm not being productive and i just feel like i've spent so much time thinking about just how wrong it is that we expect everybody in society to function at the same time be at the same productive output like no matter where they are in life or like their emotional well-being and just how wrong it is and just how wrong it is that on a personal level i don't respect my own needs for rest or desire to be at home because i feel like i don't know about you guys but growing up i always felt like society demanded that i become an extrovert demanded that i'm constantly doing things going out and like honestly for me growing up one of the biggest scariest days of the week was monday because everybody would ask you like what did you do this weekend and like for whatever reason no matter what i did i never felt like i had something impressive enough going on in my life and like when i think back it's like mostly because i really love being home and like working on my art <laughs> and so like of course most of my college days like i would like schedule my week so heavily of things to accomplish to do to go and then i would like party every goddamn day that i could just so that when that monday arrived and they said what did you do this weekend be like hell yeah i partied this weekend and it wasn't until a few years ago and i told you guys in one of my videos i think the one about why i don't party anymore like the first time that i didn't go out on a friday was like probably in 2015 ish and i was like oh. it was like 
shocking and that like I decided to stay home and I felt like nobody can know <laughs> and although I did get a little bit better like I started not going out on Fridays especially if I was tired or start doing more low-key things on Saturday nights like go watch fights go see the actual fights with my friends from the gym last year when everything stopped I realized like I only applied that to the weekend I only allowed myself to like slow down a little bit on the weekend but I never really applied it to the rest of the week I would just expect myself to go from activity to activity and it was so crazy when I think about it before COVID my Thursdays would look like I would be at work from 8 30 to 5 or 5 30 and then I would run to the gym to make it at 6 p.m for class and then like try to grab something to eat on the way to an art community that I joined so that I can meet more artists, make more artist friends around this area. And then of course I would race home at the end of the night so I can get enough sleep and probably get a good meal by the end of the day. And then once I adopted Phoebe, then it became like, okay, I gotta go from the gym home to make sure she's okay or feed her or make sure she's eating at, you know, when I first adopted her, make sure she's been eating or whatever, or just make sure that she's not alone for like 12 hours a day then i was like go to the art community i just feel so tired even just thinking about it right now like just because i enjoyed the independent activity of art and being with my art community and on the other hand enjoyed doing kickboxing and on the other hand like i had to work to survive <laughs> it doesn't mean that i enjoy going from one to the other and all the back and forth and all the driving and all the activity oh my god like i forgot that i actually love being home so many of us are obligated to just overlook who we are as a human being and what we need in terms of rest so we can survive and like i mean that for working class people everyone in general like why is rest a luxury like rest is part of what you need to survive and the fact that everybody needs to take care of their rest in proportion to like basically their income is kind of like really fucked up if you think about it like i feel like we're constantly being told to, to mold ourselves to like some arbitrary like living situation that someone came up with you grow up as a human being being conditioned to like not pay attention to what you need and to look after yourself and what feels right to you and still like not have to worry that you're gonna starve coming out of 2020 a huge lesson for me was to listen to my own rhythm so like i said what i used to do is try to fit myself into everybody else's schedule in order to accommodate all of what I thought were my needs like I need to go do kickboxing I need to do art I need to work on my YouTube I need to actually work so that I can pay the rent of course some things will naturally be a priority like I wish I was rich and I didn't have to work duh but I have to work to pay my rent so that is obviously a priority what I want to do now moving forward with the rest of my time is be a lot more mindful of like my rest and my level of energy that I want to dedicate to whatever is in front of me that day and trying to find a more of a base level of feeling good about my everyday life which again is not possible for a lot of people which is why i wasn't sure if i wanted to talk about the subject because obviously people that have like three jobs they don't have the privilege to prioritize the rest i have the privilege that i have one job and that i have everything that i need I just think it's so unfair and that we need a new system of society that like just allows you to be a human being i'm tired that we're all asked to be machines basically not everybody is rewarded for their hard work as equally one of the cards of my sacred rebels oracle deck that i've been sharing with you guys little by little is called follow your own rhythm learning to listen to your own inner rhythm and needs there are times in life when you feel like you need to move a little bit slower through life there are times in life where you have a lot of energy and you want to do 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 accomplish go after achieve conquer and also understanding that there is a back and forth just because you're low on energy one day doesn't mean that's the way that you operate always but just being more aware of what you're feeling and from within your own life where can you create some room 
where you listen to yourself and what you need and actually give yourself those things because now that I sit and think about last year for example like yeah I'm doing all the things I want to do I want to go to art, I want to go to kickboxing, I want to see my friends, I want to go to fights but am I enjoying the fact that I have to like go from one place to the other and being constant constant activity and going and driving and trying to eat on the road is that making me feel good like i said many times throughout this video i feel like this is a topic about reflective of my privilege of course but i feel like rest shouldn't be something that only the privileged get to do both because we should all have access to rest because if we have adequate wages then you only need to have one job for example also on a personal level we all deserve to like listen to ourselves and kind of move at our own pace when we need to slow down or when we feel that we are ready to move faster instead of like always trying to like fit yourself basically into like this weird system in society which is demanding that everybody's like hyper productive 24 7. like i often feel like i'm lucky enough to i have the weekend off and i often feel like it's just not enough to have two days a week off and i might make a video about this because i've been thinking about it <laughs> a lot like i feel like i am so ready for the four day week for example iceland is gonna implement a four day week after they they conducted a little trial in their country and they realize like yes people are even more productive when you give them three days a week in my own personal opinion my ideal society we would have four days off <laughs> And three days of work because i'll tell you why your first day off of the week you get to just rest you're exhausted from being so productive the days before the second day off you actually get to enjoy but you got to do some chores you got to do errands you got to go to the bank and they're going to close the next day so you go do your errands the second day then on day three you actually get to enjoy your day off and do whatever activities you wanted to do because you don't have to run any errands and you've already gotten a lot of rest and then the fourth day you don't even enjoy it because you're thinking about the fact that you're gonna go to work the next day so <laughs> but that's just my own personal idealized life <laughs> that i make up in my head something that i really hate coming out of you know the last year that we had it's now all these like also articles and like narrative that the media is trying to push of like let's go back to work first of all we never stopped working some some people lost their jobs but um people didn't stop working they weren't on vacation they were probably like highly stressed and not doing well mentally trying to survive if they didn't have a job but anyways but the fact that the establishment wants the level of productivity to go up the way that it was like when we ourselves have been like hold on i like this slower paced world in spain they have siesta um midday and everything closes and you're actually supposed to be home and rest i love that i'm gonna go to the conquistadores land and i'll have to experience that myself one day i I, I, I'm sorry, I really want to go to Barcelona and see the art there and I can't wait to like experience a society in which like you are allowed to rest midday like that would be so cool and weird <laughs> like that would be so cool and weird at the same time but like I feel like that's more the right kind of thinking we're not machines, we all function in so many different ways and our output takes a toll on you physical emotional i don't know i i just feel like there's so much worth in rest and even just doing things for yourself that like enrich your inner world aka maybe they don't make money but they give you peace and all of these things i feel like it's all like a ruse to get us to spend money as opposed to like going out to actually fulfill yourself as a human being as well because you can do both you can find fulfillment in things that are outside your home if you're more of an extroverted person or inside of your home but when you're in your home you tend to spend less money and so i do feel like there's some kind of just some kind of conspiracy against introverts that are home bodies <laughs> anyway I don't even know if this video is gonna make sense but i just feel like i have been in the middle of editing this video for so long because i was literally sick for three days 
being dehydrated not knowing that i was dehydrated this is the video i want to make so just make it anyways thank you so much for watching if you still are subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination remember to drink water and i'll see you in the next one